Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. In the last episode we built another amazing little monorail car. And uh, yeah, it has trouble going backwards. That seems to be a physics bug. Perfectly smooth going forwards, which is the way we want to go. We also built this cool switching track so we could move our spare cars like we have now onto a siding. And also that will allow us to change direction in the future if we want to travel. Now, there's a way we can use this switching track from any location around the train sort of network, at least close to here. And that's not normally very easy to do. Switches, for example, to switch to the position of um, this track uh, can only be attached to one hinge each. Uh, and that can be a real pain. But thankfully, Tetra Jack invented a nice, neat, compact uh, T-flop. I don't know what a T-flop stands for, but I know what it does. So I'm going to build one and you're going to see how we're going to be able to switch track direction from anywhere on the map, which will be really cool. So first of all, what we need is a arm that's going to hold a rotating piece and we'll use the wonderful hazards. And uh, once we stick this on here, nice and neat, it'll rotate for us. We better cut that little tile out there. Good. Stop wobbling. Stop wobbling. And this little logic gate system will allow us to build a quite cool track and switching all over the map in case we wanted to build some kind of crazy uh, train network, which I'd love to do. I don't know if I've got the time to do, but I would love to do it. So what we then need is a sensor. Oh, oh, critical fail at the first hurdle, tiny pirate. We don't yet need this thing. Come on. What we need is more hinges because we're going to have three places to switch from. That's right. We're going to want to switch it from this train station siding and this one. And up here we might want to toggle it. So that's three. So I'm going to need a total of three uh, spinny blocks. So that's two and the third one like that. And then we put our um, hinge bits on. Yep, you flop around like that and... Uh, just for looks, I'll take out all of those. You're turning nicely. Oh, yes, you're just balanced, perhaps. And, uh, yep. And one more. Come on. All right, good. And now we need a little column over here with a sensor on top. Uh, where are you, sensor? There you are. Not that one, not that one, not that one, that one. So right now, sensor is on, which is good. That sensor is going to get connected to this design here. And when it's on, it moves 15 degrees. And if I was to rotate that, it would be off and it would move it back. So the very clever among you are now probably figuring out exactly how we will uh, signal things from various locations. Um, what I will do, however, so that's on, what I want to do is build a way to signal from within the carriage without having to get off because getting off to toggle switches, that sucks. So what I'm going to do is basically lay a circuit down all the way down here and uh, on the circuit. So where's it going to end up here? Maybe up to, let me see. I'm going to put a, sensor and then what we're going to do is build an actually no it's not going to need it's going to need to go a bit further now what am i doing it's going to need to go all the way down to where our um all right let's start again it's going to need to go all the way down to where our um where our devices are down here i'm not that way come on flat ah come on good Okay, it's going to need to go all the way down here so that we can signal it from this train. And we're going to signal it by putting a sensor arm here. That's right. And uh, do, 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 do. and now what we're going to do is connect. Ah, we need to get a control box down. Box, blocks, whatever it is. And we're going to need eventually three of these. So I'm just going to pop one there, one there, and one there. Good. So, where are you, controller thing? First one to that sensor. And then that one can connect to the first hinge there. 
And what I want you to do is, and this is Tetra Jack's thing really, is rotate 45 degrees when you are censored. So let's go down here and see how this is going to work. Uh, do I have an arm set up on here? I do not. Uh, so that is, come here, perfect occasion to do one. So I'm going to set up a signaling arm, I suppose you could say. And how am I going to make it look? I want to make it look kind of pretty because, you know, aesthetics are very important. Um, short railing, maybe? Would that be... Would that be too much? No, that seems okay. And uh, as part of that, we're going to need a controller as well. So we might as well put a controller there. And I think we will use a toggle switch just because it's a bit easier to manage. Oh, I've forgotten something very important. I've forgotten something very important in all these builds. And that's George. Come here, George. You adorable little duck. You just sit right there. Good. Keep an eye on things. Make sure we're behaving. Now, what do we do? Connect that to that. That to the toggle. Clockwise is the direction we want, and when toggled, I want you to rotate out 90 degrees. And we want to connect this button to the chair. I'm going to build one on each side eventually, but that's going to be our signaling arm. So let's see if we can get that to work. Travel forward. Ha, the wheel might sense it. Come on. Hang on. Oh, I know what it is. It's, yeah, all of these are turning. Uh, that one is turning. See, the block is angled. You can see it there. But because these aren't connected, the others aren't turning at all. So we need to connect all of them up. And now, ta-da! It's back. Now, what I should be able to do is uh, carry on this way and then what I will want to do is probably uh, possibly signal from here not too sure about that I might attach a signal to the track itself yeah let's look at doing that now hmm I want to be able to signal but without now, I'm a bit worried that that one, in fact, was so far, it was so close to the edge that it didn't signal properly, like it was picking up the wheel, so we'll fix that now. No, don't go into ground. Um, yep. Yeah. We'll get rid of all of that. And, uh, yeah, something like that, that looks all right. And an upward signal block. Might as well just go straight there. And zero to the very uh, first one. If I jump on it, should switch the track. And I hop off. Nope. Come on. Yep. Kind of got to jump off at the... <laughs> oh my god. It's swinging wildly. Uh, let me just check that rotation setting. No, it is right. Okay, that's fine. It's just going to take a second to figure things out for itself. Let's jump on the train. No, not that. Uh, go backwards. Yep, switched. And... No, don't you be cheeky. Pull it back. <laughs> oh my goodness come on you I'm watching the spinner there we go I kind of wonder if I need to make the arms a little longer on them I think I probably will in the future so that it can more easily pick up when uh, it is or is not blocked because right now <laughs> right now it turns a bit far and it gets blocked so we need to set up some more sensors. Um, no, I'm sorry. Oh, getting in the way. Getting in the way. Uh, I'm tempted to run a 
a block out from the sides, but I kind of like doing it from underneath, maybe. And uh, can't get low enough to do that now, let me think. If I wanted to switch the track here, now a block here would kind of make sense, followed by the up sensor. That ah, was there, had it. Yep, and then I can connect that to the second one. Yep, and the second one should be on the same program. Uh, rotate 45 degrees and repeat. And uh, let's have a look. Yep, all right there. Why aren't you rotating? Yeah, come on. Huh. What are you not connected to? Hmm. So, so the sensor's picking me up, but it's not. But that's activated, so why isn't it working? So, you are going to that one, and that one is going to there. Oh, wrong one. Of course. 45 degrees. There we go. Back in there. Close my thing. Just stay there. No, are you... Oh, you're not... Ah, litany of errors. It needs to set to repeat so that it just it doesn't toggle back and forth. Okay, those are all good. So now it will work perfectly. Toggle me onto the siding. Good. Nope, got to be quick, don't I? And there we go. And back up. Handy. But what if we are over here and there is no train? Time to signal from this location. So we want to run our circuit across the ground. And... Uh, no, not up into the... Ah, not into, not into the sky. We'll just do it this way. Here we go. Under there. Oh, wrong type. I'm going to try and keep it looking a little tidy. That white gets a little harsh. And uh, let me see. So across there. And this way. And somewhere down to here seems good. Oh, no, I can't do it that way. They won't be joined. Have to do it as one piece, one after the ends. Otherwise, it will not be connected, I suspect. Um... This will need a right arm. Do we want to do it on the left side? Uh, we do need signaling arms on both sides, so it does make sense for it to eventually go here. All right, that's fine. Okay, let's get rid of the rubbish. Too much rubbish lying around from previous builds. Okay, that one. And to here. That should be plenty for a sensor. And on there. And will, will it stretch? I think it will. And one, two. Hey, it does. Good. Uh, and now this train needs another slopey sensory thingy. And we're going to need to build them on all of our carriages. And I might might fiddle with the design a little bit to see if I can make it a bit more sensorable. But I'm not sure it's going to be possible in a simple fashion. So, let me see, where's that controller? Oh, there's a controller. So, five. We need another controller. Put it there. Uh, another switch. Put it there. That goes to there. That one goes to there. It needs to go positive 90 degrees. And that's positive 90 degrees. And then that attaches to the chair. Now, all things being equal... Stick the arm out, and <laughs> the arm isn't long enough. Uh, come on, I'm sure. No. No, oh, that's just... A... Ah, okay, it needs to go one over. How embarrassing. And uh, let's try. Uh, let's try. Oh, yeah, now it's sensing it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, well, at least we know we're not going to accidentally trigger it with the vehicle. So, let me see... 
Let me see now. That's toggling back and forth until I swing that arm in. It's going crazy. Which way is it going to settle? No, we want to change. Oh, we want it back again. Come back here. Good. Now we drive off this way. And to switch back onto the main track. Oh. This one is the one I always get wrong. Not quite sure why. And that works. And off we go. Oh, that, that actually works. I'm, I'm suitably impressed with myself. That's pretty cool. So now what I can actually get on with worrying about is building a track down the mountain. And that's going to be really interesting. So I think in the next episode, we'll look at expanding the track, adding some switching options further down the hill, and maybe do something about a train station of some kind. Until then, I've been Tiny Pirate. Good night from me, and good night from George. Look at him, he's just sitting there watching us, he's so adorable. Yes, until next time, good night, have fun. Goodbye.